Warning, if you're trying to look for love and you haven't seen this pop the balloon or find love episode, you need to stop what you're doing and watch this right now. Put that phone down. Let's let's watch. Let's watch. Because I know a lot of people that come on this show have some trust issues that they have not worked through yet, especially relationship downfalls and pitfalls that they haven't worked through that they might be projecting onto other people. So let's get into it. Let's watch. So the premise of the show is they walk into the show Um, or the contestant and candidate walks into the show and if the guys are feeling them, they don't pop the balloon. If they don't feel them, they pop the balloon. And then they get to ask a series of questions back and forth, the girl and the men. Hold that. What's your name? My name is Cheyenne Sierra Polonese. Okay. She gave us the whole government. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Cheyenne, how old are you? I'm 25 years old. 25. Okay. And what do you do? I'm a high school teacher and I'm also a content creator. Nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, For me, I'm very adventurous, so I like to do like... So this is a good sign. I always like to look at their men, the men's expression as the woman or vice versa are speaking. Some of the men on the panel here are um, smiling. Like, for instance, it's this guy with the blue um, vest or the blue button down, the guy with the silver vest, he's smiling. Other guys look pretty unenthused. I do like to look at them because sometimes it just shows me how interested the person is because typically when we're interested in a person, our body responds typically with a smile or our feet tor- turns towards them. Um, people who are not interested, they kind of turn away. But right now, nobody got a pop. Nobody popped their balloon upon her entering. So let's keep watching. Like extreme activities. I love being outside, okay. but I do. I like to stay home too. Mm-hmm. So um, I just went. Um, like skydiving like a couple of months ago. I, I like to do adventurous stuff. I'm okay. going to see the balloon, pop the balloon. Not pop the balloon. <laughs> you are on pop What's the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on a hot air balloon tomorrow. Okay. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Ooh, yeah, okay, so I'm real adventurous. <laughs> and now what are some things you look for in a man? For me, I want somebody This question always gets me because a lot of people will come on the show and say, I look for this, this, and this kind of person. And they never pop their balloon for some reason. Like they're like, hey, let me try to get in there. Even though she wants a man that's 12, 12 and I have 15 baby mothers. She would never say that. But if she did, they would still keep their balloon popped. Like I just feel when somebody tells you their intention and what their needs and their wants, you should listen to them because you trying to change a person doesn't work out very frequently unless that person wants to change. So don't waste your time in relationships. If this person says, hey, you can't have any kids, but you know you got three. Be for real. That is a real man of God. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about like a real one. Someone that is loyal. So if you have like... um, somebody in Africa or somebody in Haiti, I could just pop right now. Um. <laughs> that tells me that she's worked with a lot of, not worked, but she has had experiences with a lot of men who are just not, they're not giving what she wants them to give. I also want somebody that is um, a provider, okay. a leader, and um, yeah, someone that's fun. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now, so what are some of your uh, deal breakers? Me? hmm Okay, if you have kids, I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. At least they're honest. At least they're honest. <laughs> and and um somebody that's cheap. I'm sorry. I can't do the cheapness like mm-mm. Okay. All right, cool. So we did get two pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over there see what's going on. Okay. All right, let's go this way. Okay, if we can have your name and age. My name is Kim. I'm 27. You said Kim? Yeah. Okay. And Kim, what do you do? Uh, I do a few things. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I own a record label. I uh, invest in property. I uh, invest in stocks. But to fund all that, I work at a restaurant in downtown Phoenix. I'm a server. Okay. All right. Yeah. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, she said the kids. Yeah, I got a son. He's three. Oh. That's my boy. He's like everything to me. So like, you know. I love kids, by the way. I really do. For sure. <laughs> A lot of times people will say, I don't want kids because they want to start their family um, fresh with the partner that they're with, which is very understandable. Other times people are just like, I don't mind you having kids. Um, I don't have kids, but 
I am willing to build, right? And so there's nothing wrong with either one. I think people just have to know what they want because when you are blending a family together and blending just means that you have you don't have kids, but your partner has kids um, or vice versa, that's a blending of family together. It can, it, be, it can be a lot of work. Whereas if you're starting afresh, you guys are dealing with your own rules. When you're blending a family, you have to deal with that kid's parents, if they're in their life's rules as well. Um, and the rules that were already established by that kid's parent, which it's iffy, right? Because sometimes the, the partner, you, you moving into this situation, isn't really going to want to move or maneuver around what you think their kids should be doing. So it makes sense. Just that's that, what's up. You know, it's a preference. Yeah, I yeah. feel it. I feel yeah. it. And then the thing about that, that's what's up because I, you know, I didn't want to really have a kid with someone I wasn't going to be with. So if you find that, that's what you need to chase for real. Okay. For sure. All right. Now, before she said the kids thing, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why did you? Yeah, she's beautiful. Like, you know, I love a beautiful black woman. The skin tone is crazy. Like, yeah, she, she's beautiful. And mm. like everything she was saying, She's fun, like to be outside, but be home. Yeah, she she seemed like she cool. Okay, all for right. Sure. Now, um, is Kim someone that's your type? <clears throat> he's not really my type, but he's very, very handsome. Shout out to all the guys, by the way. Y'all, y'all did that. Yeah. Okay, the kings <laughs> did that. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, you're very handsome. Appreciate it. Okay, and what makes him not your type? Um, he's just a little bit short. Okay. And then I just I'm feel like. Next to you, bro, like. <laughs> <sighs> I just feel like I'm not trying to be rude, no, but weird. it looks like you kind of like smoke. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no problem with you, you know, being a smoker. I just don't want to like, like have the smoker lips. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's another thing too. Appearance is everything for people, right? Especially because the very first round is them looking at her and if they want to don't like what they see they'll pop but she also is the same way like she has to look at the person and be they have to be visually appealing to her if they're not what is the point right and i only say that because if unless you're asexual attraction is pretty high for people it's just like i can people are just like i can look past what they look like but they have a have a bomb personality that's what people will say like i've heard my clients say it and then down the line, it's like they're complaining, like, well, I'm not physically attracted. But the thing is, you knew that going in. And so that's going to cause you to need to have some kind of self-discipline when you are courting this person or dating this person. Because the discipline comes in where it's just like, okay, I'm not, I'm going to fight against my um, desires to be physically attracted to someone else because that person doesn't meet that domain. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's just you have to know yourself and you have to have some sort of self-control because other people are going to be visually appealing for you. And again, this is if you're not asexual. The just a little lips, bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Black lips, yeah. yeah. I, I feel okay. it. I respect it. All right, cool. Thank you. Let's go on over to our next pop balloon. Okay. <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and age. I'm Dante. I'm 28. Okay, Dante, what do you do? Uh, I make music for TV and film. That's what I do. Okay. Nice. Okay. So why did you end up popping your balloon? She said she can't do a kid that's not hers. She can't, you know what I'm saying? Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so how many kids do you have? I only got one. Just one. You know okay. what I'm I just got one. Kid. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, he's four. Love him. He's like my own little clone. You feel me? Aww. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that, and then also you told a dude he smelled you. Yeah, I, I smoke. So, I mean, smoker lips. You and me? no wrong. You don't got the smoker lips, though. Okay, cool. Say that. You know, I shot my best. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure I look okay. <laughs> and so I always get curious as people are popping. It's like, do they see something? That now that she's a little closer that they didn't see before, or is it something she's saying? Um, it takes a lot to see a person and say, hey, I want to date them. And so and this is just such a quick, fast-paced environment where they have to decide really quickly, hey, I either want to keep pursuing and seeing what she got to say, or I'm just going to pop. Okay. Now, is, uh, so is he, Dante, right? That's my name. Is he someone that's your type? Oh, he's well dressed. I love his height. You you have a nice smile. Thank you. I just don't really like dread heads, but that's it's okay. it's But all that's good. it. But they're really nice though. They're real clean. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I say, yeah, she's she's very, very attractive, very beautiful. I say I like how she put that red on you, feel me? Okay. So you know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you. Let's go back this way because we got one over here. Your name and age? Um, I'm Dejan. I'm thirty. Okay. And Dejan, what do you do? Uh, I work for American Airlines, and I'm also an actor and a model. 
Okay, all right. Now, why do we end up popping our balloon? Honestly, it's the red. I think you're very gorgeous, mm -hmm. but it's just something about. You see what I said, right? So when she was further back, you can't really get a good look. But now that they've taken her in and they're starting to process what they're seeing, he's talking about the red. The red. I can't do the red. I can't do it. I can't. It's, it's not for me. About the red, it does it for me. And then you said the smokers. I do like to indulge. Not every day, but okay. I do like to indulge a little bit. So I want to come home one day and you'd be like, oh, you smell like weed or whatever. I also feel like nobody's listening to her because she said the smoker's lips. She never said, I don't like someone that doesn't smoke. I, unless I missed that. But <clears throat> from what I heard, it was like, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. From what I heard, it was like, I don't like this. I don't like the smoker's lips. Uh, you could smoke because she said it to the first guy. You could smoke. It's just I don't like the lips. And I don't think everybody that smokes has smoker's lips. I'm not sure. Um, but I don't know if he's using this as a cop out either. But if you don't want me. I just rather not even deal with it, but I think you're very gorgeous. I love the red. The shoes are amazing. You just say you ain't like my red, but you like my red. I, I like the red, but it's like I don't like the red. Uh, I was I was really confused because I was gonna say, hold on, did I miss here? This man definitely said him he don't like the red, and then he double back and say, oh, the red is nice. You look good, girl. Be for real. Oh, it's, you okay. know what I'm saying? But I'm just, you know, I like the red, but I don't like it. It's too much. Oh, okay. I like the red color, but it's just too much for you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I mean? But I think you're very gorgeous. I feel you. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks. <laughs> All right. And now, uh, Cheyenne, is he someone that's your type? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He yeah, get, go in the comments below. Do you feel like this man was genuine with what he's saying? Because I feel like he's all over the place. Because everything he said, she definitely didn't talk about. Like, she never said she don't like smokers. He then negated that he likes the red and doesn't like the red. I feel like he just wanted a way out. Not sure, y'all. He looks like the kind of guy. You know what? I'm not going to judge on here. Maybe if y'all join my Patreon. Yeah. Y'all yeah, go see what I'm saying. He's appreciate real you. handsome. I like the bling, you know. Thank you. Yeah, he's real. He's cute. Thank okay. you. All right, cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go down over here. We did get one over here. If we can have your name and age. I'm Hendo. I'm 25. Was that Hendo? Yeah. And Hendo, what do you do? Uh, so I'm a veteran, and I also work in private security and throw uh, parties. Okay. And now, why did we end up popping our balloon? So I ended up popping my balloon because when you first came out, you said you want somebody who's real close to God. I'm still trying to find that, so it'll be, like, not good for you when I'm still trying to look and find. And you brought up dude's height, and you have, like, four-inch heels mm -hmm. on, so it's kind of like, of course, he's going to be short, and so. Okay. I do want to say people have their preference. Um, unfortunately, a lot of women want a, a man that's super tall, like, super six feet and above, and we do know that the population does not... <laughs> exists for that many people to want that kind of man right um but she does like what she likes right and so i guess i understand why he popped his balloon mm -hmm. all righty all right now is hendo someone that's your type he's not my type but he, he seems like such a sweetheart okay he seems like a sweetheart mm -hmm. cool thank you let's go over here if we can have your name and age tony i'm 28 okay and tony what do you do um, I'm in transportation, so I drive trucks. Oh, okay, that's what's okay. up. Now, why do we end up popping our balloon? Um, because height was a a preference thing for her. She said he was too short for her, so you know, I'm not that far from his. <laughs> so okay. But that was pretty much it. Mm -hmm. All right. So prior to her stating that, you know, statement, you did have your. How many of you guys in the comments, male, female, um? whatever you identify as, you have a height requirement. Let me know, because I'm really realizing that people do consider, men and women, consider height as either this person can't be too tall or can't be too short. And I'm wondering how much of that keeps you from um, finding your partner. Like I said before, physical attraction is everything, but sometimes height has nothing to do with like the physicalities. Height is a is a determinant but like how this person looks so like when y'all sitting down can you really tell that this person is only five foot let me know in the comments let's talk about it your balloon and popped why um yeah she's a very beautiful young lady um she put her outfit together very nice mm -hmm. um yeah so you know okay. my sister said the silent period <laughs> You're feeling it? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, she, she's definitely. Yeah. Okay. I'll probably approach her if I seen her in person. Okay. Outside it. 
All right. Now, is he someone that is your type? I know you said the height thing. Yeah, but he's very handsome. So I think I would give him a chance. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, no, because um, the the, the tattoo on the face. Um, I don't know. It just gives me that you just came from jail and you're like you're changing your life around. See what I'm saying, though? So like the height, I think sometimes the physicalities can outweigh the height. I don't know. She also sound yeah. Do y'all hear like a little tinge of some kind of Caribbean country or some? It, it might just be me. It might just be me. Which is good. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you. I don't know your background history. I just feel like people that. Hold on. It just registered. She said like he just came out of jail. <laughs> Why it took me so long to process that? Not them cracking up in the back, but that's another thing too. So when we are dating and we're looking at people, if it triggers another thought for us, especially when we do like free flowing thoughts, hey, that person has a tattoo two on their face oh they must have just got out of the pen you know or that person has a tattoo on the arm they must be a part of a gang even if that person isn't it's those associations that might turn us all like turn us away from a person i have face and they tattoos give me that oh that's okay yeah that's okay you know people gonna have you know everybody's entitled to their own opinion Mm -hmm. you know that's that is what it is Mm -hmm. you know but yeah, it's okay. All righty. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, let's go back. So we do have three unpopped balloons. Okay. Did you have a question to ask the guys to go ahead and help you narrow it down? Um, yes. So I have a prediction. And I haven't seen the third guy, but I feel like she's not going, she's not walking away with nobody. I could be wrong, but let me see. So I wanted to know, like, how is your relationship with God? Like, are you guys, I'm Christian, so I feel like God should be, like, for firm foundation in my relationship, in our relationship. So how is your relationship with Jesus, by the way? Okay, let's. Ooh, I was going to say she needs to be very specific because there are religions I believe in a God, but I don't know if she was talking about Christianity or what, but she did define Jesus. And again, when you are in dating relationships, do not go into a dating relationship knowing that your faith is forefront and you're putting it on the back burner just for this man or woman that look good to you. Okay. Because your values are intertwined with your faith. When we're dating, these are some of the things that we should ask ourselves. Start over here. Your name and age. My name is Caleb and I'm 27. Okay. Caleb, what do you do? I'm a current grad student and I'm also an intern at NASA. Oh, okay. All right. And now to go ahead and answer your question, what's your relationship like with God? Y'all, I'm related, but I actually kind of like his shoes. Y'all zoom in and look at the shoes. I don't know about the fit. Like, I get where the fit is going, but I like the shoes. The oversized jacket jacket could have been, like, one size down a little bit, but he does look a little bulky. But the shoes, they got me. Y'all know I love me some color and blocking. God. I'm very close with God. Uh, I'm a Christian, and I've been going to church um, ever since I was a little kid. Um, My mother instilled that into me um, Mm -hmm. since a, a little one. Okay. Mm, okay. okay. Go down over here. Actually, now that I've seen him, maybe I could see them going together. And I saw her twinge in her eye. Like I said, when we're attracted to people, we, our bodies are a little bit more open. If y'all rewind, you could see her body was a little bit more open and receiving what he had to say. He did pop. We'll be back for you. <laughs> Let's go over here. Okay, your name and age. My name is Luan. I'm 27. Okay. And Luan, what do you do? I do private security. I own my own. I, I own my own sneaker shop, and then I do transportation. Okay, very cool. And so, um, to go ahead and answer a question, what's your relationship like with God? I mean, I grew up in a Christian household, but as I got older, I'm more spiritual now. But I do believe in the Most High, most definitely, and I do my devotionals every day, and uh, just following the Word, especially with knowledge and, and wisdom. So, I'm on that journey right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, that's what's up. Yeah. For so look at her hands. They were a little bit more closed. Her body was a little bit more cold. Um, did she appreciate his answer? I'm not sure, but just by her body language, it looks like she was looking for something else. For sure. Mm-hmm. We'll be right back. We did get a pop balloon right over here. If we can have your name and age. Hey, my name is uh, Christian. I'm 29 years old. Christian, what do you do? Uh, I fly planes right now, uh, working on getting my certifications, building my hours, becoming a pilot for a major airline. Okay, very nice. Now, um, Christian, why did you end up popping your balloon? 
Um, you, you just sound like religion's very important to you. I respect that 1,000%. Mm -hmm. uh, for me personally, I haven't really found a church home since I've been here in Arizona. Okay. Um, and, you know, with it being so important to you, I just didn't want that to uh, be something that becomes a major conflict for you personally. All righty. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So you say you haven't found a church home, but, like, are you Christian and everything like that? Kind of like how she asked. Oh, yeah. No, I grew up in churches, you know, uh, playing in, like, every church, uh, church band or church choir I've been in. Y'all know what they say about Christian musicians and church musicians, right? Uh, growing up, mm -hmm. um, just haven't really uh, had a church home since sort of uh, college, so. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, uh, do you still have a relationship with God? Uh, you know, I don't pray as much as I probably should. You should have just said no. Just say no, boy. What y'all wait for? But I still definitely believe. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. And thank you. Let's go back this way. All right, guys, do you all have a question for Cheyenne? Oh, let's go back over there. Don't be nervous. Oh, don't be nervous. All right, go ahead. All right, um, how many kids you got? I have no kids. Why did he assume that? <laughs> I wonder if he has kids, because he assumed she had kids. How many kids do you got? It Usually you're saying, do you have any kids? I want to bet he has kids. I hope. No kids. Mm -hmm. Proud right. auntie. Okay. How's your relationship with your father? My, me and my dad have a great relationship. I love that man. Like, he taught me well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you had uh, mentioned about the smoke thing. So you don't want your man to do it at all? No, I don't mind if he does it. He can smoke. I just okay. didn't want. You know how some people look like smokers? Like, right, they have, like, right, right, they're, right. like, extra. Nobody listens because she said it several times. I don't care if he smokes. He can't just look like he smokes. She don't like the black lips, kind of dark. Oh, my goodness. I need people to listen. Skinny with black lips. They look yeah. like a little bit. I don't know. It just gives... I don't want you to look like um, okay. a crackhead. Okay. Because I work out. I mean, I need my medicals. You yeah, know, I do just, that time to time. Just keep yourself you know? up. But you look good, though. I, like, you seem like you keep yourself up. I appreciate that. That's it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go back over here. Did you have any questions? I did. Okay. What are your current goals? Look at this girl cheesing. Like, she's looking in his eyes and she's cheat. Her eyes are saying, you, you, you. Ugh. My goals? My goal is to become the best version of myself um, in all aspects of life, like spiritually, mentally, workingly. And I'm doing that every single day. So I'm very goal driven. Um, yeah, and I'm, I, my goal is also to impact, inspire, and to um, influence. So I, I do want to like make sure that anybody who meets me, they're they're impacted in some way. I do want to spread the gospel, and I also want to build like generational wealth, not just for my kids, but like I know I'm not on this earth just for me, just to impact everyone. Yeah. Thank you. I think he has dimples. I'm not sure, but the way he's listening so intently, you know, as she speaks, I can actually feel the connection through the screen, but. It's not me, honey, that's getting, you know, hitched. It's them, so I'm just wondering how this unfolds. Yeah. Okay. Cheyenne, any other questions for the guys before you make your decision? <clears throat> yeah. Um, where, where do you guys see yourself in, like, three to five years? Wait, what do you guys do, and then where do you see yourself in, like, three to five years? Like, what do you feel like is your purpose? Um, so right now I'm, a, I'm in grad school. Uh, for business analytics and I'm also an intern at NASA. So what do I see myself in the next three to five years? Um, I see myself working for NASA um, and just hopefully having my partner at that time, um, starting a family and um, just moving somewhere and just enjoying life. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go over here. I think she liked that answer. Um, I think she liked it. My name is Lawan, and uh, I see myself in, in the next three to five years as owning a few lands, a few units. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my goal right now. I got my first unit right now, so oh, I'm learning the game right okay. now. Yeah, <laughs> really so, you it. know, uh, like I said, I own a <laughs> sneaker shop, so I plan on, like, expanding that. You mm -hmm. know, that's why I'm down here, just to kind of explore some things and stuff so I could come out here more often. So that's kind of what I see as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. landowner. For okay. Real. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I got one more question for you guys. Okay. 
Um, <clears throat> what is your love language and what are your toxic traits? My love this is such a good question, right? And I talk about this a lot. The way in which we love, give love, is not always the way in which we want to receive love. So, for example, somebody might know that their partner loves receiving gifts, and so they, and that's their their love language. So, partner B's love language is receiving gifts. So, partner A will give them gifts, but partner A love language doesn't. They don't necessarily feel love when they get gifts. They feel love when partner B spends time with them. It's very important for people to understand that. Just because you give love a certain way doesn't mean you'll receive love a certain way. Like partner A might feel like, oh my gosh, I love giving gifts to partner B because I love seeing the expression. But that doesn't mean that's their love language, like partner A's love language. So just be cognizant about that. Love language is called quality time. Okay. I'm be real. Uh, my toxic trait is uh, sometimes, like when I'm busy and I'm locked in, Sometimes I, I can't, like, I don't show as, as much emotion or, you know, I wouldn't say attention, but like, you will feel like I'm not giving you enough attention, but I'm really locked in just to be a better provider and be a better version for myself. So I kind of feel like it, it'll be toxic for a lot of women that came in my life because I was always so busy for them mm -hmm. and they kind of feel like I ain't have enough time for them. So mm -hmm. I feel like that's kind of like one of my toxic traits right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's the giggle for me uh, <laughs> look at how he's looking at her it's in them eyes like I want you <laughs> not too giggling <laughs> <laughs> alright and I think you said uh, toxic trait and what was the other one love uh, language yes uh, so my love language is quality time and physical touch okay um, and I would say my toxic trait is uh, personally just Caring too much, um, trying to about the other person when it's not reciprocated, like usually. I, I almost want to say it's a cop out, but it's not because when you are over enmeshed is the word. Enmeshed means that you are so fused with another person and codependent almost that you don't know yourself. And so it sounds like that's what he's getting to. Like, I am so, I care so much about this person that I'm going to do everything for this person. Um, and sometimes you have to have those boundaries and walls up. I just always put too much effort into that relationship and that person, and it's just never reciprocated. So that would be my toxic trait. I kind of, like, trust um, too soon. Oh, okay. 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 All right, Cheyenne. We got to make a decision Dang, based the off of these responses you got. So Maybe I was wrong, y'all. Maybe she's going to walk away with somebody. Mm. I'm going to hand you over. And again, she's doing like a lot of conversing, so I'm I'm getting I'm being able to see like what she believes. So that's good. On a toothpick. Oh, let me get. Now you I got this. me sweating out here. Yes, it's hard. I know, I know. Those are really. Wait, what do I base it on? And they answer. Just yeah, everything you've heard so far. You know, attraction, whatever it may be, like that Passion. you're feeling off of all of from both of them. Oh. So who were you leaning more towards, and which one are you gonna pop? Dang. They both tall. <laughs> she likes the tallness. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> they both black. <laughs> You're black, right? No. I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> I'm black sorry. and white. Black and white. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. She's really trying to figure out what she wants to say next. I think I'm gonna pop his. Oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pop his. You say, wait, you say you do nail saw? Wait, you're not in nail saw. I'm an intern. 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 intern wait, and you're majoring in? Business analytics. Business analytics. Okay, and for what, master's degree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You sure? Uh, I'm just playing. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, so why did we end up popping his? The only reason why I popped his is. Ooh. Maybe I get it. He popped his balloon. I can't wait to hear what he said. It's because I felt like I liked his career a little bit more. Okay. Mm -hmm. And with your career, I feel like I could build with you because I don't mind like building. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I just want like somebody that has like both. Like I could build with him, but you still have like a stable income. Right. 
I respect that. I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah but no it pressure. was hard. Yeah, feel it. <laughs> now I feel like now I regret popping his balloon. Yeah. Oh, okay, hold on. You see, you're you're regretting it. Yeah. Why? What's going on? Why are we regretting it? Because he popped his balloon. Uh, I mean, go ahead. I mean, well, I want you to follow your heart, though. You know, if he had the better answer, see the reason why he popped it. No, but I, I, I think, I think I want my balloon back with him. Oh. Do you want your balloon back? I would, wait, wait, wait. Hold on now. No, because he, he doesn't want to be somebody's second choice. And so she realized, like, oh, I messed up. Because now she's looking like, oh, I'm walking away with nobody. That's life. Let's see what happens. N not that you're an option, though. Like, you're not, okay. a, sec you're not a second option. All right, that's it. That's it. Okay. Okay, we, okay let's, get it, let's get another balloon for him. Wait, I got one more question. Go for it. Yeah. All right. So... You would rather have a dude that has one million followers or one million dollars. Which one you choosing? One million dollars. Okay. Okay. She she got some. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that balloon. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. So we're. Let's go see what's going right. on back there. No, oh I just God. I just just because she was gonna choose him, man. Oh. I just. What is going on? I right? just just because no, like. Now nah, she, now nah, you stunning. Like I, I like your style. I just okay. feel like you was gonna choose him, and I just that's just gonna be in the back of my mind, and I don't want to put you through that. Okay. And I know how, like how I can get if I feel like I'm an option. So you know, oh. that's all. <sighs> okay. Thank Listen, when the energy in the room speaks, the energy in the room speaks. I said this girl's not walking away with none of them. Got scared for a little bit. You know, let me not speak yet though, because the man can't face balloon back. So let me see what this half, I think he said half white, half black man says. I can't remember his name, unfortunately. Sorry. But that, and the guy from NASA. I remember his traits and what he says. Thank that's, you. That's the only reason, though. It ain't nothing else. Okay. I promise. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go back over here. Okay. I know she hurt, though. Ooh, I know she hurt. <laughs> Why did we end up popping? So I felt like you was only going to give me a chance because I said a certain word, which was NASA. So that's why I went ahead and popped because I feel like it's more than uh, more to me than just uh, my job. So that's why oh, I popped. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't hear just NASA. I heard that you were such a sweetheart. I heard a lot of things. And I felt like you, you have like a nice spirit, a nice soul. So that was one of the reasons also why I stuck with you. But okay. Thank you. I, I understand. It. You're very gorgeous though. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. all right, well, that is all the balloons popped, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> they're lost. <laughs> exactly, but thank you so much for coming. Let's think about this, though. So he said he popped because he, she thinks all he heard was NASA, which means that all she, he probably thought she heard was, oh, I'm making money. God, yeah, I don't know why my face looks so greasy. I promise you it's not. It's these lights. Um... The thing is, when we are looking for people to engage with, I think for her, she wants, I don't remember the young woman's name, but she's 25, whatever. She wants stability. And when she heard, oh boy, I think he said like he runs a sneaker shop. He's a transportation driver. That could be anything like run Uber. he could be a truck driver. Who knows? Um, I don't think she heard stability in that. So yeah, I can understand why he might be like, oh, she just wants me for the money that NASA might, might provide. But I also think there's nothing wrong with wanting to be in a stable situation because as a man, you're more of a provider. And as a provider, she he probably wants, or she probably wants just security because um, she's a teacher, she said, right? Versus the other guy at the end, the darker skinned man, he probably didn't ring security for her, right? So y'all, tell me what y'all think. Did, do y'all like this show, Pop the Balloon? I've seen many pop the balloons. Um, I think Arlette's show is just one that flows. There's another guy, The Finest. He has a show too. I might do another one. Y'all let me know if you like this content too and I could weave it in between, you know, my 90 sitcoms. Um, Y'all let me know. I'm just here to help you unpack the trauma in your relationships so you can heal because everybody deserves a healed relationship. You know what too? I was thinking that I'm going to have a video pop up right here because I know you don't want to stop hearing my voice as we assess the things that are going on. Click the video right here. 
be informed, share it with a friend, make sure you subscribe, share this video as many times as you can. If you share it, let me know because I can give you a shout out in the next episode. All right, y'all, walk good, keep the vibes high, and I will see you next time.